Hi, I'm Dempsey Pullot, and this week I'm reviewing... Puka is a made-for-TV movie, a part of Blumhouse Productions' anthology series Into the Dark on Hulu. It was directed by Nacho Vigalondo and stars a cast of relative unknowns. And it follows an actor whose life is turned upside down after he takes a job as a mascot for a hot new toy during Christmas time. And that's all I'm going to say for now. And this film actually surprised me. After watching the trailer, I was under the impression that it was going to be another one of those B-movies that Blumhouse occasionally makes. But let me tell you, this one blew me away. And, I mean, it's not the best movie that I've ever seen. And it's not even the best Blumhouse movie. But it's just like the overall effect and the message of the film kind of really gets you. And I wasn't really expecting it. Like I said, I'll be honest. The acting in the movie isn't the best acting that I've seen, but I suppose it gets the job done. You know, it really just gets the message out there. But the direction, on the other hand, was phenomenal. Um, and, I mean, I I'm not surprised at the same time because it's Nacho Vigalondo, who, for those of you guys who don't know, made that uh, phenomenal movie, Colossal, a couple years back. It happened to be one of my favorite movies of that year that it was released um, with Anne Hathaway and Jason Sudeikis. And if you haven't seen it, please go check it out. It's really bizarre, but it's also really cool and deep. Um, like this movie, I guess you could say. Um, I guess, without giving too much away, this movie just isn't what it seems. Um, I, I, I know there'll probably be people out there that say that's kind of a spoiler, uh, but it's really not. It is a Christmas movie. Um, it is a horror Christmas movie, just like Anna and the Apocalypse. I know I'm on a roll here um, with horror Christmas movies, but it's just got like such a way about it. It's like it is a horror Christmas movie, but at the same time it's like in its own way its own thing, if that makes sense. Um, and uh, I don't really know how else to explain that other than to say that it really has fun with the genre of like psychological thrillers in the vein of like The Shining and Rosemary's Baby. In fact, I'm pretty sure that this film actually pays homage to those films with certain scenes and certain imagery that you see in the film. And truth be told, that's actually kind of what I liked about this film. The fact that, I mean, going into it, I wasn't expecting any reference to films of that stature. Um, the fact that it kind of builds itself up or uh, convinces you that it's going to be about one thing, and by the end of the film uh, shows you that it's about something totally different. Um, it's kind of exciting, and it's, it's very hard to pull off nowadays, um, especially in horror. But... Um, yeah, this film was really brilliant in that sense. Um, very enjoyable, too. You know, uh, I like the fact that it really subverted all my expectations. Um, but like I said, it's Nacho Vigalondo. The guy's a really brilliant director, um, if you think about it. But um, also Blumhouse, because um, they make really good content nowadays. I mean, not all of it's fantastic, as I said before, but... Uh, they are another game changer here, so the fact that they were able to pair off and really pull this one off um, really makes me happy. But despite all those positive things that I've said about this film, um, like I said, it wasn't perfect. Um, it was good, but it wasn't perfect. And uh, I guess some of the things that I think this film could have improved upon were um, some of the more subtle details shown throughout the film. As I said before, there is a lot going on in this movie, and some of it is fully explained by the end. However, some of it is really not. In particular, there's this one dance that um, our main character, Wilson, I, I, I forget his real name in real life, um, he learns this dance as Puka um, when he first becomes Puka. And it involves him like raising his arms up and flying like an airplane. It's really weird, and I was expecting for it to have some sort of special significance explained to us at some point over the course of the film, but we never really get that. Instead, it kind of just feels like it's thrown in there arbitrarily, and there are a lot of other smaller things sprinkled throughout the film that feel like they're thrown in there arbitrarily, too. I mean, I could be wrong, though. There's just so much to unpack about this movie, so much so that it may require multiple viewings, especially the last five minutes. The last five minutes of this movie blew me away. I mean, this whole movie blew me away. It's really that good. I'm not even joking. Um, 
And especially, what really surprises me the most about it is the fact that it came from Hulu. I mean, since when is Hulu known for making good movies? I thought all the good movies were on Netflix. Good job, Hulu. But, yeah, guys, in all seriousness, if you haven't seen this movie or if you haven't even heard of it, please check it out. It's really worth your time. Um, anything that Blumhouse does, with the exception of Truth or Dare, because that movie is god-awful, is worth your time. And for that, I'm going to give this film four stars. I'm losing control. Guys, thanks so much for watching. As always, if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, I would ask that you please subscribe. I post new videos weekly. And in fact, for the rest of the month of December, I'll be posting even more new videos. So make sure you stay tuned. Also, if you haven't gotten the chance to see it yet, make sure you check out my reaction to Avengers Endgame. Well, the trailer anyway. It's the first time I've ever done anything like that on my channel, and uh, I really hope that you guys like it, so I can do more things like that. Um, it's just something I was trying out, um, and I've gotten some good feedback on it so far. So, like I said, just make sure you check it out, and let me know what you think in the comments section. And also, if you've seen this movie, and you have your own thoughts or opinions on it, uh, tell me what you think in the comments, too. I'd love to talk to any and all of you. Um, but yeah, guys. Thanks so much, as always, as I said before, for all the love and support thus far. Um, it really means the world to me that you guys take the time out of your day to view these videos. It really does. Um, and I love making them. So I'm going to get back to work. And uh, until next time, I'm Dempsey Pilate. Take care.